Hey YouTube, yeah so I borrowed a pedal off my pal Craig, who guitarist and after the end we've got a gig coming up. Uh, the 4th or the 5th of December, the I uh, ordered more, uh, that's the Thursday night, whatever one is uh, whatever one's the Thursday night is the one we're playing at. Um this is he gave me a shot of this pedal, he was trying out in his pedal board uh, in the studio. The other night, so I need to give a shot of that. Um, so this is a Flynn uh, amp. Flynn, or a, a, a guy, or sure, is it Stevie Flynn? Can't remember. Um, he, he, we the last, I think it was the last gig we did actually, which was last year. He was um, he plays in a, a Rory Gallagher tribute band, and he was, we were playing with them. Uh, so I have met him a couple of times. Um, he makes amps. He makes Craig's amps. The big uh, he, he builds amps. Got a similar to kind of similar to the Sovtech kind of idea where you've got like a Marshall League type builds all sorts of stuff. Um, this is is that he's actually got a very famous pedal, the Rory Gallagher Boost thing, where um, I think he he, he knew he knows uh, Rory Gallagher's brother or something like that and borrowed the, his exact pedal and then copied it. So he builds these pedals. It's called a belter. It's like, well, it's like, I have to play the corker through the belter, really, don't I? Um, I basically plugged it in to make sure it turns on. Um, my power supply, I need, I need a new power supply. It doesn't like that pedal either, but it doesn't like half the pedals. It seems to be all right with the really cheapy, crappy ones, but it doesn't, it doesn't like the big, expensive ones. Um, I need to get a proper one. So this is running on a battery, so I'm assuming it's working fine. The light's coming on. So it might start dying if the battery goes. In which case I won't put this video out, so there's no point in saying that. Yeah, so apparently it's for going into a, a clean amp, so going straight into the amp. There's my... So we're going into that pedal and then straight into the uh, orange TH30. There's no... Um, no reverb on that amp, but I'm not putting my pedal board in just to give it the, the cleanest possible signal pass. So there might be a sort of reverby effect actually with my new setup. So I mean, could it echoes through things into that mic? It's up there. Um, something's different here. Am I, am I normally? I think I normally put that window. Jeez, it's difficult to point. I think I normally put that window here, and then I stand on that side. But the audio should be the same. So. But I think that this pedal might actually be quite a rare. I was going to say it's a hand built one. They're all hand built um, in Glasgow, so it's hand built. I think it's a sort of semi prototype. I can't, to be honest, I can't remember what Craig was saying in the studio. Uh, something about it being a prototype or a very early one, or whether he still makes it, I don't know. So it's a Again, stage. It's he said something about it's a kind of strange. It, the mids are set to zero, and they were like that when he handed it to me because it basically just went straight in my gig bag after the rehearsal. So I I don't know. So let's just see what it sounds like when I turn it on. I don't know what you call these amps. You know, a lot of people um, at the tube screamer, you run it into a distorted amp to give you a wee boosty type thing. I think this is for you better just run it into your clean amp. Um, I will try it. Go into something else later on. <laughs> Thank you. 
to try and clean up the sound a little bit. I'm just getting a little bit of um, is that a slider? It is. Yes. I seem to be overloading a little bit. I'm trying to get it so it's not actually going to red. Oh, I see. Actually, the VU meter on the red has actually got a wee bit of red before it gets to zero. Oh, well, it's minus five, but that's maybe not too bad, actually. Um, I... I was going to say, this would be amazing for the something like the Tiny Terror, but the Tiny Terror is the is basically, as far as I could gather with the Tiny Terror, it's pretty much that amp, but it's only the dirty channel. Whereas if you had a Tiny Terror that was the, only the clean channel, you want this, uh, I think. Um, or you get an, maybe, maybe one of your old Marshalls or something, that you know, the, the ones that don't have the master volume and stuff like that. Maybe what this is kind of for. Um, but it's, it's doing that thing where it just lets it sounds... It kind of sounds, it doesn't, it, not say it doesn't do anything, but when you turn it on, it doesn't change the sound. It just makes it distorted. Does that make sense? I believe transparent, transparency is the wanky word that you use to describe that. Um, but it's kind of the same. Let's see why that mid knob is at nothing. specific frequency it's going for um i don't know if I'm, I'm maybe not technical enough to actually know how to set mids normally mids is like kind of that the one the knob that makes a big difference on your amp that one's i think is a much more subtle one like for fine tuning i'm not a i'm not a fine tuner lucky if the guitar's in tune never mind tuning the amp up It's one of those knob, the, the mids knob is one of those ones that, for me, at full and at nothing, but I can use either of them. It's not like one of those ones where it's like, you're, oh, just make sure that dial's in the bottom quarter or between, you know, 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, or which happens with a lot of pedals. This one seems to just be, they've kind of taken whatever the, the bit that's useful in the mid-range tone and just made it only do that rather than, you know, I mean, I just, I've, got, what am I, I've got a, a Yamaha Phaser, Fander, Flanger pedal, and it's one of those, one, it's, it's got like, it's got four knobs on it, and basically none of the knobs work or are usable at zero or ten at all. There's like a wee window of opportunity somewhere in it, whereas the rest of the time it just sounds like a spaceship. Um, where, you, know, you, can, you can make, it's almost like a synthesizer, where they give you all the options, but you have to know what you're doing to actually make the pedal work. This one, I don't think you can really go wrong. Um... Got a boost on it for your solos. So we're going to have to see what the happens when you turn the gain down. The gain's not even at half. Oh yeah, here we go. I can now see why I maybe turn the mids down. <laughs>
Let's try putting again it full. I just making sure I moved that mic the other day, so I was just making sure it was still kind of, it was still plugged in basically. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> one of the, the what happened there was that this that, amp, amp doesn't have an awful lot of knobs, right? But when I was moving stuff about, it's like, oh, those knobs are awfully dusty because I don't really move them very often, so I cleaned them all. They've all moved. So I had to treble up a wee bit higher. <laughs> I don't think it's really meant so specifically much as a... It's not really a distortion pedal as such. It's more like the preamp stage of your amp, I think. I'm probably wrong, but uh, to me, that's what it sounds like. done there, oops. No, I mean, it's a belter. So I really need to for the, I really need to for the, the thumbnail. Uh, do 
get the corker and the belter in the same shop. Can I do that? Corker and belter at the same time? Yeah. <laughs> um, no, it's amazing. It's, again, see, it's kind of like what I was saying there about the, the knobs being set at the most useful bit of their what you would expect their travel to be, if you know, that makes sense. So I think it's kind of hand tweaked because it's built, hand built from scratch. I think it's kind of hand tweaked so that, I mean, I'm really thinking the only unusable thing about this pedal is if you've got the output at nothing so you can't hear it or you've got it too loud, so it's too loud. The other things, the, the, the mids and the gain, or the other two knobs, the gain doesn't go to clean and it doesn't go to too distorted. It's just in that middle bit, but it's like having the bit that you like in your, you know, the bit that you always use, like on, my, on this, it's always kind of between just before 12 o'clock seems to be the magic zone between, sort of, you know, 11 o'clock, 1 o'clock, or 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock seems to be the magic zone in that. So if you imagine in this pedal, it's only got that wee bit, but it's fully sized, so you can, you, you get an awful lot of variance between it. You know, it's like, it's a very sensible, usable thing. Um, I know the 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 the, the flim out. Is it, is it called the treble boost or the Rory Gallagher pedal? Is super world renowned um, as a treble boostery boost thing. Um, and by wonder actually, I'm trying to think. Is actually I can't. Even, Craig's got one on his. I remember it being orange. I can't. I don't. I can't remember how many knobs it's got on it. I wonder how different. I wonder if the boost in this is kind of similar to that. It wouldn't surprise me if it was. It's a similar enclosure. Um, yeah, no, so I mean, it's, it's, sometimes you can just play, just play through things, isn't it? it's like something like this guitar, you know, it's like, you play it, and okay, you can look at it and know it's expensive, but you play it, and it's just all the sounds, everything it does, it just seems to do everything better than everything else, and it's like, I, okay, um, it's, it's not one where you go, I wonder why that's expensive, it's like that, okay, it's just a, it's a red box with belter written on it. Doesn't, I mean, it doesn't look particularly expensive but I mean as soon as you hear it you just go alright I see why it's expensive. It's not you know there's no there's no worry, wondering why <laughs> it's like yes it is significantly better sounding than everything else. I mean I'm obviously not running it properly either uh, it should be at a gig volume amp not I mean okay that's a nice amp to play it through, yes, but it's sitting at half power in the back and then half power in the front. So instead of being 30 watts, it's running at seven and a half watts and it's barely on and it's in a house. So I get the, I think that this is probably much, even better if you're playing, you know, on full power along with a drum kit and stuff like that. And when you're kind of fighting other frequencies. So that's probably where the, as I said there, the gain and the mids are more, if you're playing with another guitar player or trying to fix it in a mix, it's at that bit where it's just, oh, not enough, oh, too much, and you can just, you know, there's a wee variance in it, um, rather than being just starting out trying to get a sound, which uh, kind of what I'm doing just now. I'm trying to make it sound big and rocking, but not being super mega loud in the house. Um, take it now. No, you can't have the boost. I was wondering if you could have the boost without the pedal, but no. So you can have the boost on. Doesn't do anything, but... <laughs> Even with the boost at nothing, it's kind of... It's obviously something to do with overdriving some preamp stages or something. It's not. I I don't fully understand why you. I I don't. I've not worked out how to use the boost yet. I've got the wee spark, boost pedal. Um, I get a wee bit like you know, I can sort of see you want to turn it up a wee bit for souls, but that's not really what it's doing. You can. It's totally changing the dynamics of the whole thing. Like if you turn the volume the the volume down.
to me, kind of what that um the boost part of it sounds like. It's even your um, I I don't use treble bleed circuit. So if you're rock, rocking on your guitar, see between if you've got like a good guitar with good pickups in it, between like ten and nine in the volume control, it doesn't necessarily get that much louder. It's like an EQ change, a little bit. So it's kind of like a boost. That it's kind of like that. So you've got like you're at nine. Oh great, and you just go, oh, 10, and it's just more of a sort of, it, 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 it does a thing to the, the sound of it where it, it's perceived louder, but I don't think it actually makes it, that's not, the mm. its main point is not just like, oh, just making it louder, you know what I mean? Um, which I th I'm, I'm sure the wee spark pedal does as well. I mean, I, I, I'm kind of, there is an element of you could probably use it, uh, say you've got a Gretsch guitar, for example, um, which you're playing for a couple of songs, you could like have a boost pedal just for the Gretsch guitar because it's got lower output pickups, so it's like it's quieter than the other ones. So just when you're using the Gretsch, have the boost on, all it's doing is increasing the volume. Whereas this is a bit more it's like that nine and ten thing on the guitar, it's changing the EQ. Yeah, no, but I'm very impressed. It is indeed a belter. Um I was gonna do my sitting down thing, but this see output jack, I mean I like an output jack in the front. It's better. I was going to use the Kraken guitar, which is um, ah, there. Oh, you can't see it. This one. But it's Kraken. I was saying, I'm still not really committed to this being the Cracker, because the Cracker and the Belter would be all right. It would be good, but the Kraken, which I think is a cooler name, but the Corker, the Cracker, and the Belter. Um, this has got the output thing on the front, which means I can sit on the chair without having to worry about hitting this off the thing. I'm just not a fan of corner edge mounted input jacks um fine for you but it's just uh, just a practical thing um I, I, would, I would just rather have it stuck in the front i suppose i mean it's, it's my guitar i'm not going to do that the reason i don't know see the thing is <laughs> there's a stupid reason why don't i just put another jack socket on the front because it would annoy me if you had a jack socket with nothing plugged into it and leave this one on there as well you know it's like just like, why not just have two jack sockets? No, no, I'm not, not saying for running through two amps. I'm just saying, like, well, it means you can, you've got the choice of either using the one in the bottom or the one in the top. They're both just connected. You don't make any difference. Um, but then it would annoy me if I was playing because then you would, people would go, like, oh, your guitar's not plugged in. What was that for? Like, yeah, no, it, it annoys me. Um, yeah, so... Neil, is it Neil Flynn? can't remember his name. Anyway. He makes a good pedal. Um... So handmade in Glasgow. I just noticed there that only one of the only one of the knobs has got a number on it. There's a zero on the mids, and the other ones are all. Oh no, there's a plot. There's a, a. Oh, look what it's got there. The boost. It's got. I mean. It's infinity. It goes from plus to infinity. I mean... I kind of don't want to kill myself. So, in infinite boost. There you go. Even with that at maximum, it's 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 not unusable. You could use that at that amount. It's, it's not. There's. It's not. I mean, I'm gonna. I'm gonna say infinity. Really, I, 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 you can't have infinity. Infinity doesn't exist. You can't have infinite boost. I'm sure. I don't know if there's. Maybe he's not big enough for like. I don't know for what legal department would done do them for false advertising saying you'll get infinite boost like infinite infinite rock on and cheers to the shot the pedal craig um it is indeed a belter uh i, I would be on my board um playing the guitar um 
I don't know. He, 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 he did say to Craig did say that, but it's not. I think the reason he wasn't using it is because his big um his his Flynn amp, um, he's got a couple of them actually. It's like an old it's a, it's a 60s plexi type circuit with uh, extra mods put in it. So it it's for Sabbath, so it's not really clean. So I think maybe that's more. He said it was more for a clean amp to give you a drive channel rather than something that's already screaming. You know what I mean? It's like really, really what he wants is more of a uh, like the wee boost thing, or a bit more of a like that. What that boost does there, a slight change of EQ rather than an actual overdrive because the amp's already a screaming demon. Um, rock on. Oh, not 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 so easy to find the off button on this uh, this program. Uh, catch you later.